I'm showing you how you can get a Minecraft Pocket Edition client on your PC or laptop. Now for this, we're going to need an emulator. In terms of emulators, you can in theory use whichever one you want. However, I, I highly recommend uh, BlueStacks 10 or BlueStacks X. Uh, I'll link this down in the description below. So now as you can see, I have the BlueStacks installer in my downloads and I can simply double click on that and that is going to start up, do its thing. All right, so now BlueStacks has been installed and because this is just the installer, we can actually delete that if you want to do so. Anyways, now I'll uh, look up BlueStacks over here. All right, so now I'm here inside of uh, BlueStacks and what we can do is we can go over to the system apps, get into the Google Play Store and we will need to sign in. So here inside of the Google Play Store, we can search for obviously Minecraft. We will actually need to have that installed through the Google Play Store and so you will also need to own it. Anyways, as you see, I found it right over here, and then I can click on install. That's going to go ahead and install. Now, as you can see, that has been installed. All right, so now here, as you can see, we have a Minecraft installed in theory on a mobile device on our laptop. And we can launch this. We can play if we want to, except that's not what we're going to do just yet. We still need to install the client. Um, there should be a button over here. There we go install apk so we can click on that and then we can select an apk from our, from our device um, all mcpe clients come as an apk file um, if you want a client if you don't have one yet that you want to install um, i'll link a few of them down in the description below uh, so you can choose the one you want uh, in this case i'm going to be using apollon client uh, do make sure that you're using one for the correct version of course in this case i am so i can double click on that okay i just had to reload it real quick there uh, anyways here we have it, Apollon. Um, I have installed it, of course, you can install any other client you want. Oh dear. A uh, quick reminder to myself in the future whilst I'm editing this video to blur out some of the advertisements on the right hand side there. Anyways, uh, <laughs> here we have Apollon and I can simply double click on that and that is going to open up. So here I have Apollon client. Um, as you can see, I'm going to change my language to English then select that I read this and bam, there we go. I have it. Um, I'm going to refrain myself from signing in right now. And uh, basically, here I am. Of course, I can sign in if I wish to do so. Uh, anyways, I can now simply play if I want to, create a world, whatever. And bam, just like that, I'm using Apollon Client, which is a mobile MCPE client on, as you can see, uh, my, uh, my laptop. Anyways, if you are experiencing issues, which wouldn't be surprising, to be honest, um, what I recommend you do is... Uh, try a few more times uh this definitely took me a few tries to just keep um to launch for the first time anyways as you can see the controls are going to be incredibly weird like um my mouse right here which is way too sensitive um that is because you're technically playing mcpe uh, and so it doesn't expect you to have a keyboard and mouse so you can manage that all in settings you can go into the uh, settings over here want to make sure that keyboard and mouse has been enabled and then you can for example turn down uh, the camera sensitivity and that should reduce that uh, of course and then you can go out here and now as you can see this is um, a lot more reasonable anyways <laughs> just like that I'm doing it let me turn off the tutorial actually anyways bam just like that it has been done and of course I can access the clients menu as well of course although um, I think the version I may have uh, selected was an older one and I may or may not recall a bug in which you can't change out of the Russian version, but that's my bad. Uh, for right now, basically, that was that. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I do, of course, hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.